Oh boy, we got our new item store. What do we got here? Oh, blackout poncho. Damn, okay. Wow, okay, they're actually starting to put out poncho skins. That's kind of surprising. I mean, don't get it wrong, there already is some poncho skins, but I feel like it's been years since like they were actually dropping them here on the store, man. I'm kind of kind of surprised to see that, but it's good to see. It's something that I feel like was kind of needed if like you're trying to rock like a full blackout set with like a mid-tier like wolf headdress gear set. I'm just excited to see if they eventually put out a wolf headdress, like a black wolf headdress. That would be cool, because then they could also put out, like, an arctic wolf headdress. Like, a white one and a black one, that would be super, super dope. But anyways, hunting assault rifle. This looks okay, I mean, like, from the little bit that I see it. I mean, I'm not a big fan, but, you know, it looks like, you know, the design is decent on it. It looks like some time was put into it, so, you know, I, I respect it. Do I personally like it? Not really. Secret recipe satchel charge. Uh, pretty much just, like, it looks like a bag of kfc to be honest i don't know it's just it's not obviously kfc but um same color scheme you know 99 cents too uh bullseye sar this looks kind of cool not bad not the worst sar skin i've ever seen i don't love it but i also don't hate it right i definitely like that right there more than the ak for sure blackout poncho can't go wrong with that everyone likes the full black type of thing at least your average person does i feel like um Cool, I guess. Nice. Then you got the Obsidian Python. Got some gold right there and like an Obsidian look right there. Decent. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Storage room double door. I think there's one of these types of doors and it's like a single door and it has green on it. And I'm guessing the same person made this. Not bad. I mean, I don't necessarily love it, but it is a double sheet door that does glow. So not bad, right? <clears throat> then you got the Twisted Furnace. This does look like it glows. Uh, solid design. I dig it. Can't really go too wrong with that. Then you got the Zebra Thompson. Not really my style, but I know that some people that like their pink and zebra maybe type of shit, they might like that. Overall, sales-wise, this shop, Poncho's gonna sell, Furnace's probably gonna sell a bit, Sar's probably gonna sell a little bit, even the Double Door's probably gonna sell a bit. I'm gonna give this shop a 7 out of 10 sales-wise. For my personal taste and liking, uh, I mean, Black Ops Poncho can't really go wrong with that. Um, Furnace is solid. Sar is solid. Double Door solid. I mean, even the Python's solid. Like, I'll give it a six and a half out of ten for my personal liking. Usually, it never gets that high. Usually, I don't really give a fuck about any of the skins. Which, even still, right here, I'm probably not gonna buy any of them. But um, solid stuff. Solid stuff. Anyways, let's go ahead and log on to the server and I guess see if we're rated. Alrighty, man, we are back at it again. Third day, man. Third day. Third day. Not rated either, which is pretty cool. Yeah, man. Pretty awesome stuff. I definitely want to get some more flame rating in today, man. Yesterday, we, we really didn't flame rate as much as I wanted to. And that base right there in front of us with the windows is brand new. That was not there at all yesterday. So, I guess we'll see if those guys are active. But, yeah. We are now back on here. Well, let's go. Thank you for all the recent love having to do with, uh, oh, I mean, just in general, of course, but having to do with Season 100 of Solo being here. It is pretty crazy, man. 100 seasons of this shit. Let me go ahead and get a little bit of meds going to start out this beautiful new day. But, uh, yeah, man, like yesterday I had saw a pretty good amount of flame rating opportunities, and I want to definitely take advantage of that. Uh, we started flame raiding toward the end of yesterday's session, but then we ended up getting killed with our flamethrower, and then we came back, and the guy was, like, just standing still on my dead body, so I just double headshot him with AK. It's almost like he was just standing there to give me it back. It's kind of weird, but yeah, I don't know what the hell happened with that. Oh, and then someone gave me a note yesterday through my shop front window. Let's talk about me. Let's talk about the 6-8 frame, the 37-inch vertical leap, the black steel that drapes down my back, a.k.a. the bulletproof mullet, the Google prototype scopes with built-in LCD LED, 1080p 3D Sony technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. The doc. The good old doc. <clears throat> I think that you forgot something on that note, though, my guy. You forgot about the, uh, fuck, what is it called? It, it, it's, it's the name of his mustache. It's something caterpillar. Something, I don't know, sorry. And I swear that it starts with a C, like the cook, I, I don't even, I, I'm not even gonna even start even trying to say it. Cause I'm gonna get it wrong and I'm gonna sound like an idiot. Whatever he says almost sounds like Korean caterpillar, but it's not Korean, not Korean, but. <laughs> it has like the same flow as the word Korean. Cordopian. <laughs> Are those the guys that live there? 
I don't know. I'm gonna go to move on with my day right now, though. Ah, oh, shit, man. I think that it's gone. Yeah, the base that I, uh, wanted to finish off is definitely gone. I think that it was, like, right here. Yeah, it definitely was, like, right here. Yeah, this right here. Wait, was this right here it? No, no, this right here is a base that I rated the TC to yesterday, though. I swear that I remember there being another... Okay, the train outside is just blaring its horn. It just... It... The train just does not give a fuck, man. It, it like it just it always shows up anytime that I'm recording. I don't know what it is. Yeah, we have this base right here that we can raid right now. 79 low grade spent. There's a chance that 79 will do it, but ideally, it's usually gonna take like 83 on average. That's what I've learned throughout my time of flame raiding. But it looks like 79 is gonna be doing it. And she door fuck. Yep. All right. Well, that's that. I have enough low grade on me to pretty much raid like two single wood doors right now, so I guess, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can find any more. Ooh, hello, hello, hello. Double wood doors take like 40 low grade on average. 43 was just now spent. And I'm also seeing another small base up there. I do like, we might have a good amount of flame raids like right around here. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. Okay, 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 I get it, I get it. Game wants to, you know, poke fun at me for flame raiding right now. Okay, there's a door that is... A weak paddle. Anytime that I just see that little bit of health on the, on the paddle down like that, I just instantly know who, what type of player I'm dealing with. Dylan, stop missing the tree. What are you doing? You've missed, like, your past three paddle throws at the tree. Just aim a little bit more to the right. Okay. All right. I, listen, I like to get paddles up there because, uh... There we go. Because then because then no one's ever going to find it again, you know? Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, this shit's raided. Actually, there might be this wood base that I saw next to my base. It's, like, up in the hills above Bandit. And honestly, we could probably go there and raid, like, three, uh, three doors because there's, like... It, like, it's one of these wood bases that is, like, medium size. Yeah, it's literally right up there. You guys see that shit? And when I was looking at it yesterday, it wasn't in the video, but when I was looking at it, it had a lot of double doors on it. See, like, these guys have bases, like, around them, but, like, they just don't get raided. Like, I don't know. And I think that this is Spanish. La Casa? I don't know what that means. So I'm sorry if that's, like, a bad word or something. Okay, I apologize. <laughs> Yeah, no, look at this thing. Let's just go through this first door right here. Yeah, bandits shooting at me. That's great. Wait. Okay, I know. You're not able to crouch in from the outside. Okay, yeah, I was about to... I was about to fucking say. So now it's kind of our choice. Like, which way do we really want to go here? This... Oh, yeah, dude, this right here is TC. There's one bag in there. And there's two doors up here, which is, like, really, really weird. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna, um... Actually, no, this door right here goes to the outside. I don't know about this door right here, though. What the hell is this? This is his attic, you know? Yeah, the good old attic. Well, I guess that I'm just gonna go into this room right here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't know if there's really gonna be anything in here. Yeah, it's not really seeming like it. Oh, wait. We have one large box in there. Oh, shit. Okay. I have to go and cook up, uh... Or actually... Yeah, no, like... We don't have to cook up any crude. We just have to get more low-grade. I think that we have enough inside of our base to finish that whole thing, though. 106, take out 80. <sighs> shit, dude. We're not gonna have enough for that. Um... We got any more low grade anywhere else, or do I just have to go and just start cooking? I think that we just gotta go cooking, dude. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Small break from flame raiding. Go and cook up half our crude oil row real quick, I suppose. Alright, yeah, let's go. We're just gonna be going over to Launch Site, because Launch Site has a uh, oil refinery there. To any new players that might be watching, Launch Site's not... Launch Site's not the only place that does. It's a rad town, though. You know, train... Uh, wait. Does Train Yard have one? I'm trying to think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Train Yard has one. Water Treatment has two. Airfield has one. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, there's a good amount of rad towns that have an oil refinery. The nuclear plant has one. 
satellite doesn't, sewer branch does inside the card room. Yeah, I mean, like, they're, they can be found at a lot of different rad towns if you don't already have one at your base. And they're usually pretty dead. Usually people aren't really using them too, too much. I mean, people use them, but, like, the chances of someone finding you at one and, like, catching you, unless it's, like, out in plain sight, it's going to be kind of slim, I feel like. Cooking, 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 baby. Let's go. Should be a lot more wood door bases on this server. I'm excited to see. I should have bought a tool so that I actually could have farmed a... Okay, I'm seeing two bears over there, man. If I had a hatchet on me, I could kill them. Oh, I mean, my Thompson would probably break if I killed them, but... I don't know how much longer there's going to be this big invisible barrier right here above this that animals can walk on. I don't understand. Like, I feel like that's such a known bug to where people don't even really look at it as a bug anymore. It's just normal. Welcome to Earth, though. The place that has many problems, and we don't even acknowledge the problems at this point, you know? Ooh. That's a bolty inside of launch. Oh, that's mighty interesting. If they start taking Bradley, honestly, I'm probably just going to risk my AK set and just try killing them. I feel like it's going to be worth risking. Got to get risky with gear sets. That's something that new players need to know. Listen, okay, you might have gear fear. And I'm not here to tell you that it's easy because there's games that I have had gear fear in within the past couple years. One of those games being Escape from Tarkov. It, like, in that game... I literally will just be a fucking, well, not necessarily like a rat, like I'm not camping in corners trying to kill people, but I just enjoy the looting system and just building up on money in that game. Like, that's the shit that is, like, fun to me. Going out and slaying out, I mean, like, I wish that I could do it, but, you know. <laughs> I have gear fear, so I just hoard all my shit. But at the end of the day, if you want to get better at a game, leave your fucking base with your shit, with some gear or your best gear, and just eat shit and just accept it, okay? There's no need to fear nothing. The longer that you stay in gear fear, the longer that you should be at peace that you're just not going to be evolving much as a player in, the, in whatever game it is, you know? I just now got three, two, one, low grade. I just ended up hearing a bolty shoot over here and launch, so I'm kind of hoping that, uh, yeah, I'm hoping that I don't get murdered right now. Hopefully there's not one that's, like, super close to me on one of these buildings here. That'll suck eggs. Oh, yeah, they're taking Bradley for sure. No doubt. Oh, dude, I wonder if it's the two guys that I saw when I was leaving and going starting to flame raid. That's what I'm wondering. Because we need to finish that base. So, see, see, and honestly, as these guys take Bradley, I'm going to go over there, finish that wood base raid. Then I'm going to come over here. Because ideally, we don't want to come over here and kill them and then have to sit and wait for Bradley to fucking, you know, be, like, extinguished so, so like, we can loot the shit. I'd rather kill them, get the loot, and fucking leave. Not kill them, sit there for five minutes, and then leave. Like, hell no. I'm not trying to sit there as a solo player. I'll be a fucking dead man. Because there's just going to be rats everywhere. I'm not going to be able to predict any of the positioning from that. One more rocket should do it, I think, man. Let's listen. Come on, wait for it. Yep, or depper. All right, let's go. Actually, wait, so it's going to cost 80 here and then 40 there. Yeah, I guess it's worth it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, there we go, there we go. My question is, what's inside the box? Nothing? Yeah, nothing, okay. Losing and winning both matter. Don't protect against them. All right. <laughs> You're damn right. You're damn right. Real question is, was that bait? He has a pickaxe that has nothing used of it. Okay, that's great. All right, let's see what's inside the magical TC here. Let's see, let's see. What all do we got? Oh my god, dude, no way. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go and get the fuck out of here. That was uh, absolute dog shit. Absolute dog shit. But I accept it, okay? I accept it. I'm okay with it. I'm at peace with it. Time to move on. Because <clears throat> so I'm going to go over to Bradley, kill the guys there, get all the Bradley loot, and then I'm going to move on with my life. Alright? If I got a bunch of juice from that raid, it would have distracted me from going over here and getting all this other juice that's probably going to be more important than that juice. So, yeah. Let me go ahead and get all geared up. Because, yeah, like we have a full road sign set that we can bring, which is pretty sick. I'm going to make two grenades, actually. I guess one. Fuck it. Here we go. Rally Creed should be a couple minutes away from all being out. Um, yeah, well, 
guess we'll, we'll just see where this whole thing goes. The thing that I'm wondering, a part of me feels like this is the two guys that I had saw, and I think that the two guys that I saw might live right there. So if they live there and I kill them, I'm not going to be wanting to run directly back home because then I might run into them. So I'm probably going to arc around that way back home. Bradley's down, like, right on the recycler next to the recycler uh, building, so. I just now saw one of them. They did not spot me, I don't think, which is good. I'm just hoping that one of them is not inside this tower. It's a good place for one of them to be holding. A lot of people usually don't hold there, though. Usually they just stay on top of their, like, couple buildings or, like, get on those fat silos right there. Oh my god, Dylan, make the fucking jump, you motherfucker. Thank you. There's someone that is up there. He's too scared to peek. Dude, you're fucked. Well, your teammate's fucked. Dude, that nade came in so clutch. Is it only him and this guy? I think that it is. I, I mean, he just now F1 kill, man. I think that it is. That's it. Okay. Drop meds. Don't pick up meds when you go down there, Dylan. Um, good luck to you, my friend. Let's go. Already saw. A oh my God! Three C4. Swapping out the AK, reloading, simply because I want to have a hollow. And I'm not going to go back that same way. Like I mentioned before, I'm going to be arcing around a little bit. I can't believe that one of them was actually up there, though, dude. And the nade came in. Dude, that nade made everything different right there. It changed everything. Because pushing up that ladder would have not been a good idea. It would have not been a good idea, no matter what gun he really has. He's going to be able to shoot me before I can shoot him. And, and with a Tommy, he could have fucking melted me very, very easily. And, uh... Dude, 3C4? Oh my god. Why was he fighting me right there? Your teammate literally had a full road sign set, a Thompson, and a Bolty. It's like, yeah, I mean, like, it's okay loot, cool, but it's like, really, you're gonna fight me right there with all this shit on you? Like, just leave. But you know what? You have to give him respect, okay? He went down fighting for his brother, okay? That's true brotherhood shit right there. So I respect it. Even though someone would call him an idiot for it, listen, I respect it. He just wanted to avenge his brother is all. And here we are, man. We are now back home, man. We made it. Damn. Well, that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Couldn't grab everything because I'm a fucking solo player, but we got the majority, I would say. I mean, I mean, his body's there. No one's looted it, so, I mean, I think that we're all good. Like, I'm not really that worried walking up because if they were here, he would be looted. I am going to go ahead and leave, though, I suppose, and go back home and continue my flame raiding journey with my Thompson. Wait, what the hell? Oh, whoever lives here got on. Oh, my God, that is so fucking weird. <laughs> I was going to say, like, we didn't see a sleeper in there, which was a little bit weird. We have this base right here. Is the oh, dude. Wait, what the? Oh, no, no, no. That, that right there is a raid base. Never mind. Never mind about that. Ooh, what the hell is this? This is interesting. I mean, it's a garbage base, but... Sheet door. He has fucking wood floor. Okay, okay, okay. This is interesting. All right, let me see here. What, what all do we got? Oh, shit. 
Well, he has a triangle that's like inside there. Actually, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Never mind, never mind. But he does have a floor down right here. Oh, yeah, that is a triangle. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, double wood door. What's up, bitch? How we doing, huh? Later, bitch. You got greedy. You thought that I was going to start to heal? Let's not be silly gooses right now, okay? But it's okay, because you probably have a teammate. I'm guessing that you have a teammate. And you even had key cards on you. You're just kind of throwing stuff away at this point. Okay. Well... I'm going to go home and depot, then I'm going to come back to this. I don't really feel that safe raiding that right now with that guy being nearby. He might rush out with, like, an AK or something insane like that, so I'm not trying to risk it. I'm just happy that he ended up whiffing with the MP5. If that guy is, like, a veteran on this game and has been playing for a bit, he's probably complaining about the MP5 right now and wishes that, dude, just give me old MP5, please. And listen, to you people that say that we should have old MP5 back, you got to fucking chill, okay? I'm sorry that you can't just use one gun forever in a game anymore, okay? And seeing, like, that's the amazing thing. Like, after the MP5 nerf happened, I didn't even give a fuck. Like, I was happy. Because I'm in a position, kind of, in this game where, like, I try to not really follow too many, like, metas with guns. I just kind of like to use everything. So instead of me just being, like, an absolute god with, like, one or two guns, I'm just, like, a decent player with all guns, I would say. But then you have the fucking people that use the MP5 now, and they're like, Oh my god, dude. Stupid fucking devs. Fucking broke the game with the recoil update. Like, the recoil is not even bad right now. It's great. It's really not that bad. Like, when this recoil update happened and, like, there was a lot of different people complaining about it, they were saying, yeah, the game's going to be so easy for people to play now. And I'm not saying that it's not easier, but there's still definitely a lot of people that are bad that still get shit on. So, I don't know. I'm going to run with this guy's MP5 now, though. TC's right there. Um, is there a door that's right? No, there's not. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to go through this floor right here, I guess. That should, uh, do it. And we're going to be spending approximately, like, 180 low grade. 182 low grade spent. Done. Have 50 left. That's going to be enough for TC or a double door. We might not have enough for this, but I guess we'll see. Ooh, this could be legendary, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, it's gonna be. Definitely. Oh, he does have a sheet door that goes into TC, though. So we can't get TC, but we can get everything else. Which, hey, I'm down with... Oh, yeah, dude, I'm really, really down with that. Okay. Let's keep it going, game. Keep on showing me some juice right now. Okay, 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 that's it. All right. Hey, that's still worth it in my eyes, all right? Partially worth it. Got uh, bean can that gets us one step closer to being able to craft satchel charges. Cool. I actually want to see, what does this right here look like in-game? Okay, yeah, pretty plain and basic. Uh, kind of a new skin that came out. See, now this guy has a paddle, but there's no durability off it, so I'm not super mad at this guy. I'm still going to dispose of the paddle, though, because... Yeah, we don't need that shit sitting around. I'm just going to throw it into that bush. It'll blend in with it. No one's ever going to find that thing. Okay, we are now back. That was actually kind of a long run right there. I feel like there's good shit behind that wall there in the center, and that kind of hurts because... Ugh, God. Well played, well played, well played, well played. You had a fucking butt buddy. You don't have to shoot a dead body, okay, my guy? You don't have to shoot my dead body. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. One minute here, one minute here. I would have beat that 1v1 with that guy. He had a butt buddy, though. Oh, never mind. These guys instantly know where I live. Okay. I dare you guys to fucking push down here. Whoa, are you guys gonna? I mean, those guys were just, like, aiming, like, right at my shit. So those guys know where I live. Okay. Oh, dude, I wonder if it's the guys that I gave wood yesterday. It easily could be. You're dead, bitch. Fuck you. Now, I swear that there's a third one that has a SAR. I think that I just now killed the MP5 guy. I might be wrong. I don't know, but... 
No, this right here is a SAR guy, okay. Where's the guy that got my MP5? Because one of them was shooting at me with an MP5 at the start. Uh, I don't know how I'm really feeling about this, dude. It's like super fucking weird, bro. Oh, God, dude, fucking rats, I swear to God. Fuck. And I'm dead no matter what. And then they have a teammate roof camping. Well played, well played, well played. GG's. I accept it, I accept it. Didn't expect for it to be three either, which kind of killed everything. But yeah, the guy was just hiding by his teammate's body, too scared to do anything until I looted. And then I swear that as I was shooting at him, I whiffed, and I have to own up to that. It just is what it is. But I swear that the game lagged as I was spraying at him, which kind of sucks, but whatever. I went over there, did what I did. I'm happy with how I performed, kind of, except for right there at the end. But yeah, I should have had that. We definitely should have had that whole thing. I just, I don't know. I didn't know where the MP5 guy was at. I was so confused. But I should have just assumed that the trio would, you know hide you know what's new <laughs> life shall go on though it's gonna be kind of hard to raid that base though with those three guys there especially when they're roof camping and i'm gonna be honest the only thing that i'm really motivated to do is just go door camp those guys that's gonna be exactly what i do <laughs> like nothing else sounds fun to do except that right now oh my god and yeah they, they definitely live inside that base right there I need to stop having the thought in my head, like, Dylan, you whiffed. What the, like, stop fucking thinking like that, Dylan. It's done and over with. Stop thinking about it. Be accountable to it and know that you fucked up, but don't be letting that shit slow you down and fucking stress you out and shit. It's a waste of fucking time and energy. It was a decent attempt, you know? It was a decent shot, but... <clears throat> you whiffed. End of story. Nothing else has to be said. Again, it's just two of them, dude. Fuck. Can't see them because it's nighttime. They're going somewhere, though. Where? I have no fucking idea. Oh, shit. This guy had my fucking AK, bro. Yep, my AK. Nope, oh, nothing. All right, cool. I'll take it. So then pretty much I ended up going outside looting, and I ended up crafting up a python because with these guys knowing like where I live and me just now killing them for my AK, I really didn't feel too safe leaving my base with any gear that really means too much. And I feel like if they kill me for a python, it's not really going to mean too much to them. So, And I like using python. I enjoy it, right? So I ended up using python, going out, and I actually ended up finding an airdrop, calling it an at launch. What do you know? Three full metal guys show up. It's not the same guys that uh, I had fought. It was a different squad. But they had came over, taken it. I put up an okay fight, I guess. Tagged them up with a python a little bit. But then I thought that I ended up tracking them back down to their base. So then I gate camped it. And it happened to not be them. So then I ended up gate camping someone that did not deserve to get gate camped. And I was not happy about, happy about that. But as you can see on the screen, I ended up getting like a Tommy and a full road sign set, which is cool. Now we're going to be going back home, though to make an external TC to end off the day. We need to get back home and make that disconnectable TC, though, man. We've been getting kind of distracted with shit. Let's just go home and do that. We need to get it done really, really badly. I need to have at least one external TC on this shit. I can't be getting super greedy with that, with that whole thing. I'm just trying to think which direction I really want to build this thing in. Now, I don't really know, like, the best way to do this. I usually just line it up like this, <laughs> which is probably, like... <laughs> the wrong way but it fucking works so i just don't give a fuck <laughs> and actually let me let me build it way way higher up i want it to be higher yet again dylan you don't want it to be so high that like they can get on top of your base from it right so let me just think about this yep right there is gonna be where this shit's at then we're going to have a wall there. Half wall, half wall, right? External TC down. Key lock on it instantly. I just put down one frame there and then boop, boop, and then boop, boop. Easy. 
Oh, wait, what the fuck? Stay. Oh, yeah, no, no, I need the window here. My bad, my bad. That's the reason why. Yeah, there we go, there we go. My bad, my bad. And then now, pretty much, this all right here is going to be sheet, just so no one can jackhammer the this, uh, this shit out. But, uh... You know, we can put a okay amount of stone inside there, I guess. And then also a little bit of wood, too. Why not? And also some metal. Now we can go ahead and cover that up. Then I need to get out here and upgrade this fucking shit right there to sheet as soon as possible before uh, someone comes over here and just breaks it. To be like, yeah, fuck this guy and his external TC. <laughs> and then, yeah, then you have an external TC. I don't claim that I build it the perfect way because my because the terrain around my base is trash right now, but it works, you know? You just want to get this front triangle really, really close to your shit. I could have got it closer, but that right there will definitely get the job done for sure. Now let me just double check my upkeep on it. 72 plus hours. Beautiful. Good, good, good. So yeah, now we have an external TC. Easy peasy. Anyways, I think that I'm now going to be getting off. Good day today. Good day today. Well, overall, pretty good day today. We had a little mild, you know, a couple little mild mess-ups, I think. Maybe just one. I kind of forget if we had any, like, other mess-ups. I mean, I could have performed better over there at launch against 3 AK, guys. I'm not going to beat myself up over it, though. It's a really shitty fight for me to fight with a python, but um, I could have put in more work for sure. I could have killed the guy on the airdrop, although I don't think that would have uh, won me the whole thing. I still could have killed that guy, so I'm going to own up to that and be accountable to that. So yeah, two hiccups today. The whole shit at launch, and then also the uh, the 1v3. I heard the guy, and I fucking whiffed. I don't know if my game actually lagged or not when he peeked me. I'm just going to assume not and just say that I whiffed, because I'm not trying to be super excusey about it. Then we also got an external TC down and killed some dudes uh, at launch for Bradley loot and shit. Like, that was amazing. That was amazing, dude. That was a crazy, crazy, like... Good Bradley run that we stole, man. Speaking of that, two single armor doors. I need to put down these things before I fucking get off and forget. Yeah, I'm going to upgrade all of this here. Because, I mean, like, if I'm putting down an armored door here, there's no point to even have it there when they could just 2C4 through this wall for the same price, right? It's kind of dumb. Oh, yeah, I know, dude. We're still good on upkeep. Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I'm going to make this, this door right here a sheet frame. With a uh, armored door. Fuck it. Usually I destroy that and then make it a uh, a double door frame. But fuck it, dude. I'm making that shit sheet. I don't give a fuck. There we go. I like that. And yeah, overall, I'll see you in the next video. I appreciate you coming by today. I appreciate your presence, your time. Thank you very, very much uh, for sticking through with me on this one. And just sticking through with me in general. Always watching the videos and shit. I greatly, greatly do appreciate it. And I need to keep on building and building more gratitude for it, right? Keep on building that shit up. <clears throat> because I feel like ultimately if you master gratitude and really realize how good everything really is for you, like when you look at shit, like I have a fucking house that I live in, I have food in my cupboards, like, you know. And then someone in my fortunate position that actually gets to play games every day, like what, like... I don't know. I just feel like there's no reason for me to really complain about anything, and I just need to really instill that gratitude into me. And then I feel like once it's truly, truly ingrained into me, nothing can really, like, really stress me out because I just have such high gratitude for everything. So that's something that we're working on with more and more time as life goes on. Window down, window down. If you end up making it here to the, uh, to the end of the video, comment repair, okay? Now, overall, I'll see you in the next one, my friend, as I already said, and... Yeah. Oh, bye bye now. Yeah.